Well, you might say to yourself, hey Trent, this trumpet is bent. That rhymes, by the way. That's terrible. Um, and you say, why on earth is it bent? This horn is a new addition to my collection, but it's dual purpose because it's always going to be at the shop for you to try. So I'm going to give you a little bit more information on my friend Tomas's gunch horn. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Press. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It is March. Can you believe it's March? It is ridiculous. We hope you are doing well and being safe. Um, just a little heads up in terms of shop activity. We are going to open up for appointments as soon as possible. We're just waiting on the shop being able to get vaccinated. We want to make sure that we're safe and especially you are safe when you come visit us. So this horn was a recent trade into the shop for another shoggle and um, it had a couple issues on it. So our shop repair tech, Kyle, um, fixed these issues and I took it home this weekend to, to play test on it. Uh, you might know that Thomas and I are friends and uh, he's a very, very dear friend um, and the shoggle family as well as um, him are friends to the shop. We are one of a few select dealers in the United States who sell the Shoggle instruments. And um, so I played it this weekend and I love it. It's just so fun to play. And if you've ever played a Gonchorn, you'll know it's super fun to play. One of the problems we have with the Shoggle horns is not a problem at all. It's just that we don't uh, have the opportunity to keep one in stock long enough for people to come and try. So this horn I've decided is going to be a permanent stock instrument for Austin Custom Brass. So that means if you want to schedule an appointment and come and try a Gonch horn, this horn will be available. Of course, very always cleaned and sanitized for you to try. So why does this horn look like this? It's a simple thing, folks. If you were playing a traditional German or rotary style trumpet, to, in order to actuate the horn, you need to play it this way. The valves go this way. They're usually set on top, the rotor action, like this. This horn, how do you play a plunger solo with that? It, it's possible, but it's not the most comfortable thing. And if you've ever watched Tomas play, you'll notice that he often has two horns in his hands, uh, one trumpet and one flugelhorn, and he goes between them very quickle, quickly. Quickle. Um, maybe it's because nozzles, you know, uh, constant switching, but also for him, he needs the flexibility. And if you want to play a plunger solo, this is operable with one hand. So there you go. There's a couple of really great features. Obviously, I'm going to show you those beautiful buttons and just, it's just wonderful craftsmanship. This one is a little bit older than the current spec. I think the new ones do not have interchangeable lead pipes. Um, and that's fine because, uh, be honest, these never come out anyways. Um, so the bell is bent to actuate the rotor. So you see the curve of the bell is bent. And this one is in raw brass. The trigger on this horn is awesome. Check it out. So the trigger right there, you can actually move the hand position. So there's the good. The good is you get this seamless, almost like silky sound between the notes. Let me turn off this mic and turn on uh, my ribbon mic. To hear that it almost pops it has this shimmering effect when you're arch when you're just slurring so it's 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 just lovely um the hand position this little bar here right here is for your hand position so you can 
grab that and it has an extra ring there. So ergonomically, it's quite comfortable and it's a perfect place for your trigger. This one does need triggering on C sharp and D versus a lot of piston trumpets where you can lip it down. This one absolutely needs that triggering, um, but the trigger works wonderfully. Um, so that's that's the good. I mean, the good is that it also has that broadness of a of a German style trumpet, this rotary trumpet. It has the thickness to the sound, a little bit more warmth. It will punch. And that's on 3C, so it's not going to be super bright like my lead trumpet sound, but with a lead trumpet mouthpiece, this will brighten up quite nicely. So that's, those are all the good. I mean, literally an amazing trumpet, amazing design. The only drawback, and I will, I like to put drawbacks when I see them. The only drawback is because of the nature of this design, water accumulates quite often on the first valve because you got to think your air is going in, and there's the water. But it's a simple fix because the slide comes out so easily, you just have to put it back in. So one thing, if you do buy a Gonchorn, know that there will be a little bit of an acclimation to the rotors because they're so short stroked and fast. There will be also a little bit of a water accumulation. And we know with rotary trumpets in general, they are slightly um, more finicky and they require proper maintenance. The good thing is, because both Kyle and I have owned Gonchorns in the past and now I own one again. This is an easy thing for us to do here at ACB. So if you need a, a Gonchorn serviced or any rotary trumpet, let us know, we're happy to do it for you. So that is a tour of the Gonchorn. I can't wait for you all to come to the shop and try it out yourself. This will always be at the shop for you to try and then we can customize an order with one of the many configurations that Shogwell has. Thanks so much to to my buddy Tomas, thanks so much to Carl and the family at Shoggle for making great instruments that are so much fun to play. And thanks so much to you for watching this video and supporting our business. We can't wait to see you soon. Stay safe, have fun, and keep on keeping on. Thanks. Oh, wait, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with us. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. That's super exciting. So many cool things coming for that. Cheers.